Good happy Sunday evening. I'm Riley King and welcome to the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. First up, firefighters injured battling Lawrence fire hours after residents return. A three-alarm fire ripped through an apartment complex that residents in Lawrence were just returning home to. Firefighters rushed to the scene at the apartment on Diamond Street in South Lawrence around 10 a.m. Sunday. We're told a couple just got home after a three-day evacuation when they smelled smoke and saw fire. Everyone got out of the building safely. The fire comes less than four hours after state officials gave the all clear to residents previously evacuated in Andover, North Andover in Lawrence to return to their homes. State officials said that all impacted gas meters were checked and cleared by gas util utility officials. Power was restored to most of the region Sunday morning as well. Lawrence Fire Chief Brian said Sunday morning's fire was unrelated to the previous natural gas problem that caused Thursday's fires and explosions. Brian said the apartment was served by a different service line. One firefighter injured was hurt battling the flames. The cause of the fire was not immediately clear. He meant the world to us, friend of fatal shark attack victim says. Let's take a listen to the video from WCVV Boston. As a crowd of people carried the shark attack victim off Newcomb Hollow Beach in Wellfleet, he was still alive, but bleeding badly from one of his legs where he'd been bitten. At this time, have a report of an unknown shark bite male party. I never wanted to be that guy at the edge of the ocean screaming shark at the top of my lungs, and that happened today. Joe Booth says he was on the beach looking for a place to go surfing when he noticed a man just offshore on a boogie board kicking furiously. There was a 15-foot boil, an eruption of white water, and for, for something to make that kind of a commotion in the water, they're big. Booth says another man in the water pulled the victim to shore, and as the man was carried to a waiting ambulance, off-duty lifeguards rushed in to provide first aid. They were amazing. They did CPR, they, built, they put on professional tourniquets, uh, they took pulses, they monitored the health. Video from Sky 5, shot shortly after the attack, showed two large sharks swimming in the area. There were also several seals nearby, a favorite prey of sharks. Officials ordered Newcomb Hollow Beach closed until further notice. After a summer full of shark sightings on Cape Cod and one previous non-fatal attack, it's getting harder and harder to downplay the danger. I mean, yeah, no, 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 just wave it off, just wave it off. No way, no way, no way. Now it's like a stifling reality that we're facing here. The ambulance took the man to Cape Cod Hospital in Hyannis where he died from his injuries. His family has been notified, police say, but they're not yet releasing his name. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report.
and also Lawrence Public Schools will be closed again for tomorrow due to what happened on Thursday. FMCC students return to Resident Hall after it was closed due to mold. Let's take a listen to the video from WMTW News 8 Maine. Xfinity Mobile combines America's largest, most reliable 4G LTE with the most Wi-Fi hotspots. When you're on one, you save on data. When you're not, you pay by the gig or just switch to unlimited. It's a new kind of network. Learn more at XfinityMobile.com. Hundreds of Southern Maine Community College students finally got to move into their dorm rooms. Those students have been living in local hotels for three weeks after a mold infestation. SMCC officials say cleanup crews came from all over the region to fix the problem in the Spring Point Residence Hall. We talked to students who were headed into the building. It was kind of stressful becoming like a freshman in college and like not having all your stuff like where you're supposed to be and all that. So it's kind of a relief to finally get all settled in and kind of get that college experience. A spokesperson at the college says the building is now 100% safe. Officials say cleaning the mold was a very tedious process. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. And good news that it is all better now. Florence causing historic and unpredicted flooding. At least 15 dead. Florence weakened to a tropical depression Sunday, but that is cold front to residents in North Carolina who have seen over two feet of rain and are now battling major river flooding, and possible tornadoes. Some parts of the state were getting two to three inches an hour, Cooper said. Since the storm made landfall as a hurricane in North Carolina on Friday morning, it has been blamed for 15 deaths. And that did it for the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your evening. And I'll see you back here tomorrow with another newscast. And I'll have a news report coming up in a little bit. Good night, everyone. Bye.